Good morning, folks. In previous news, we saw that the planets begin lining up this weekend and the sun roars in approval. We'll analyze the solar wind, look at earthquakes, a spectacular volcano eruption, weather, and Fukushima-related pollution at the west coast of the United States. We're starting over at spaceweathernews.com, however, and you'll find a mostly calm day on our star, except for that eruption over at the limb on the right. As the southern sunspot group turned out of view and the earth-facing quiet effect loosened its hold, a C-class solar flare was detected, meaning that if this was facing Earth, probably would have been M-class at least. The eruption will miss Earth by 90 degrees trajectory. Solar wind has plateaued and perhaps even begun to come back down a bit in intensity. We saw the peak of disruption yesterday and are reverberating now. But remember, NASA claims a small CME could impact Earth tonight. NOAA still isn't tracking it, and I'm still not concerned, but this is worth noting. Main body of the coronal hole is departing, while the small equatorial opening behind it crosses center disk tonight and into tomorrow. Top quake of the last day was a 6.1, part of the aftershock swarm of the Solomon Islands quake a few days ago. Same fault line, just skipped right across the country line. But the bigger news from beneath our feet was a volcano eruption in Mexico. Nevada de Colima erupted multiple times in the last two days, and truly may be related to the California quake on the 8th as well. Cesium-134 has been detected from two samples in Oregon and southwestern Canada. There's no more iodine from the Fukushima event, so the primary Fukushima signature is now cesium-134, given that 137 sources are abundant naturally. Lastly, folks, this is the result of terrible flooding in Bolivia to start this month. Video finally coming in as the Great Amayu River overflowed its banks. In yesterday's episode of Fly on the Wall, we went over how the quake forecasting of California's big one went down. We discussed GMOs, climate, and David from ADAPT2030 even joined us for that part of the discussion. Right now, we've got your pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.